and finish drilling this hole. This is part of a little project of mine. I am making a black walnut cracker. Black walnuts are very hard, very difficult to crack. And um, so I am building one out of parts that I just found laying around. This pipe right here will be part of it. This is part of an old well head that was left in my yard from when I got a new well a couple years ago. And I just got done drilling a hole through the top of this bar. I don't know what you call that cap on the on the pipe. But I just drilled a hole through there, both sides, and I will be running a bolt through there to attach it to the frame or mount for the cracker. And I will show you that in a little bit. So this is the main part of my black walnut cracker that I am building. This is just like an L bar, uh, five five eighths inch thick steel. Found it laying in the road. These little brackets that will go on it. These um, I found laying in the road. They're about uh, they look like they're maybe a quarter inch quarter inch um, steel. And I've already welded one on. First I had to weld on uh, a couple um, a couple pieces of steel just to make it a little wider to accommodate the pipe that I'm going to be using. And then I welded this one, welded this bracket on to this side, and now I've got to do this other side here. So it'll just go like that. Okay, I've got this positioned where I want it, at least I think I do. So I'll get this little bracket welded on and um, I'll tack it and see how it looks and go from there.
Now well, I got a nice messy weld that I can clean up with the grinder, get it looking good. And I'll get this thing painted up and it should work okay. Well, it might not work if it doesn't, um, if it doesn't work the way I have it, I'll just uh, add some levers to it. Take a look at how it's going to work here. I thought I, I didn't leave enough space at the bottom, but that's no problem. I just figured I'd grind that out. I had put some wood under there to give me enough space, but there's enough play in this because of the holes that it dropped down. But um, I didn't have any trouble. I didn't have any trouble grinding that down. Okay, now well, I've ground this down so it. You know, it's going to have to be ground a little bit more because it's touching the, the bottom plate. However, I think it'll work anyway. Give it a shot here. We'll throw this black walnut in here. Oh man, that works good. That cracks it like nothing. It doesn't... There you go. It took almost no effort to crack that open. Mm, that's really good. Nothing like black walnut. I've got um, tons of black walnuts in my yard and i got to pick them up anyway. So I'm not hitting them with the mower. And um, I hate to see them go to waste to buy a brand new nutcracker that will crack black walnuts, which have a very hard shell. But a good one, at least uh, $50 to $60 at the cheapest, and on up from there, up to around $100. And, uh, this thing costs me nothing. Just junk that I collected off the streets and out of the ditch in front of my house. My wife doesn't like it when I do that, but it saves a lot of money. So anyway, it works great. Now what i got to do now is clean up the weld, grind off some of the slag, and um, clean it all up, paint it. As you can see here, I've hung my, um, hung my walnut cracker from an apple tree, and I am painting it fire and red. I've already given it one coat, so I'm just going to... Give it a little bit more here. Anyway, I'll go around the whole thing like that, and um, and then I've got some a lot of scrap wood laying around the yard and in the garage and in my which work shed, and um, I'll find a piece of scrap lumber to as a base, and then when I'm all done, uh, we'll take a final look. Here it is, the world's most powerful black walnut crusher, uh, made out of recycled materials. I've got the wood all stained and varnished, finished. It looks pretty good, and I will demonstrate it one more time. pretty good. Um, I you normally would use a little less force on it so walnuts would be shooting all over the room. But you get the idea. Thanks.